Okay guys, so this is the new MXKDE spin that just came out. Um, actually, I think it's an official release. But uh, yeah, so it's super nice, runs really well, even in the virtual machine I have going here. And yeah, so it's pretty nice. I like the their layout here. I, I don't really use this typically. I use the runner for most things I do, or hotkeys. Because you know, I'm kind of legit, you know? I'm just messing around. Um, anyway, so uh, so yeah, so this is my tiling setup, and uh, oh whoops, I forgot to tile. Oh, that's accidental. Look at this. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I have it automatically tiled here. I have gaps like in you know the infamous i3 useless gaps. Um, everything kind of just works. Um, it can be glitchy for some things, but yeah, I love Cronkite, which is what I'm using to tile. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and boot my vanilla version of this and show you all the steps to do so. Now, just forewarning, I'm recording this afterwards, and um, it's a little bit longer than I'd like. But um, honestly, I'm just extending the length by doing this right here. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. Oh yeah, one more thing. Let's do that, and uh, whoops, I shouldn't have done that yet. I meant to uh, do the infamous C matrix. Oh yeah, look at that. I feel like Neo, I'm mighty morphing power Neo. Anyway, so let's lag this out completely and just kill it, you know? Okay, so first things first, I was gonna say that uh, MX, you've really stepped up your wallpaper game. I mean, look at this. This is a step up from their weird leaf with their logo or whatever was going on. Okay, so first things first, delete this crap, don't want that. Um, so, <laughs> buy manual. Um, you can still access it and everything. I don't really look at it except for installation, but you should. You definitely should. Always look at the documentation. Okay, so first things first, we're going to right click on the bar here like I just did and click uh, configure panel. And we're going to make the bottom bar a chunky boy. Now this is confusing for a lot of people. KDE. Uh, panel management is it's pretty awkward okay so we're going to shrink down this size um, all the way to like here and click more settings over here go to center and that should be about it so this bottom bar actually tells you how far it can space out so I'm gonna go ahead and crank that down and or that's its default placement this is its maximum placement um, pretty, like I said, pretty confusing. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this task manager, just like I want to remove these dogs outside of my house. Welcome to the south. Um, but, let's see, so we removed that, and now we need to, um, oh, I can do it from here, actually. So, click Add Widgets here, after right-clicking the panel. And we're going to switch out the standard task manager for the icons only task manager. Let's see. H I. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put it right here, I suppose. And we. What just happened there? What is this? Oh, okay. I know what's going on. Okay, so we got that there. I'm going to remove these. Uh, so configure panel, and I'm going to remove all these quick launch because I don't use them. And the desktops, I guess they can stay. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to stretch this out some. And we're going to add some spacers, blah, blah. Just chuck these all around, put one over here. Um, make sure you right click it and adjust it to your preference or whatever, because otherwise it's going to be kind of weird. Because you have flexible size here when you right click the spacer, so it's kind of weird. Okay, system tray. I'm gonna go ahead and configure that. Go to entries, and we are just going to switch all these to hidden except for the one I'm clicking right now. Alright, so do that. I haven't really found a faster way to do this, I'm not really sure why it's set up this way. I wish there was like a hide all button. But okay, so let's see. You're out and audio volume. Yeah, that should be good. Audio volume and network. 
No, I'll hide that too. I usually keep that up though. Okay, so um, one other thing. I deactivated Conky because um, Conky is horrendously ugly in my opinion. You know, call me crazy. But, uh, okay, so we're almost done with this. Panel configuration is always kind of a, an iffy sort of thing. So I'm going to put it here. It can maximum stretch out to here when you get a lot of uh, windows going on. And should be good from there. And that's about the right size. Now we're going to go to panel options and configure panel one more time. Click auto hide because that's how we do it. Also, it's obvious I'm in a VM here, so ignore that. Okay, so that is finished. Okay, so next we are going to do this right here. So we're going to configure tiling. So this is my main thing, it's super quick. Um, so the we're going to do this the easy way, but just be warned that you lose a bit, uh, you lose newer features essentially if you install it through the KDE store. So we're going to type in KWIN and go to KWIN scripts. And this is where you do all of the configuration for this type of stuff. And I use a few different scripts, but Cronkite's usually my go-to. So when you click it, search for Cronkite, or it should be at the very top, because it's super popular. And wow, I didn't know SJ on does Force Blur also. But, okay, so we're gonna hit OK, and then we're gonna open it again, because it doesn't like to show itself. Okay, and now we have tiling once I hit apply here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now things should tile properly. So let's see, let's pop something. Yeah, it's kind of ugly, but um, that's how it's gonna be stock. Now, if you want to configure Cronkite, you have to do a few things, and I have them listed right here. You have to make a directory and then symlink um, some file that's made. And if you want borders, you can run this script also. Both of this is in the main GitHub for Cronkite. Um, it will give you all the info, all of the standard hotkeys and stuff right here. But yeah, I just went and copied and pasted. Okay, so we're going to run this. And I like that they have Yakuake, Yakuake um, standard. So I went ahead and ran that. And let's see run this again in the terminal okay now without output I'm hoping that actually worked properly so let's see okay when scripts blah blah oh yeah so see what that did is um, standard you can't get access to settings for uh, third-party add-ons I'm not really sure why it's just something some quirk of KDE but anyway, so now we have this configuration panel. And also these borders that are pretty janky right now. So, now that we have this, you have all of the con uh, Cronkite configuration. I kill, stare, spread, I turn on quarter, and that's about it. I use all four of these on and off. I don't really use KDE that much, actually. But okay, so now we're gonna add gaps because we want to be gorgeous. So I'm gonna do 10 pixels and see if it's about right. I'm not sure what I did on the other one because I am always messing around with options. So this is, of course, the top left, right, and bottom. And this one right here is the in-between windows. So I'm gonna make that larger and see how that turns out. Not really sure how it is. This is just for some, like, changing hotkeys. Let's see, adjust layout, adjust layout, yeah. Um, if you're getting some like screen tearing and stuff, whenever you like end up resizing like this, um, then you should switch to this, or there's another option to make it so it's less weird. Okay, so all of these options are good how they are, and it's just some extra stuff. So now I'm going to hit uh, turn it off and hit apply, turn it back on, and then hit apply. And now, as you can see, we got some nice, nice gappage going, and it looks much nicer. Okay, so next we're going to go to window decorations, and this is basically the uh, the final step. 
I have some other stuff I added in, but uh, this is basically everything. So we're going to go to configure breeze. And you have to do this in Breeze or Breeze Dark. There is another solution to um, hide these title bars, but this is the easiest way. So you click uh, Configure Breeze right there. And I'm going to turn that off, turn that off. And this is personal preferences. I just kill most of that stuff. Now we're going to add a regular expression to um, to basically anytime it matches a window, so any window name, um, it's going to hide this top bar of. And then if you want borders, turn on border size, tiny, um, and hide window title bar, because that's what the point of this is. Um, and you have to do period asterisk for this and hit apply. And if you watch these title bars, they're all gonna disappear. So there we go, it's a lot cleaner, and I'm going to hit apply, switch that to tiny2, not really sure how that affects anything. So now we have a border on windows that support it. Um, as you can see, let's see, um, Dolphin's glitchy, and most browsers are kind of glitchy with it, so this one looks okay. But yeah, so, got some nice stuff going on there and cool. Alright, so um, that's basically it um, to get this set up. So, oh yeah, there's one thing. Um, so I use desktop grid. So I have to go into global hotkeys and this is where you configure, or global shortcuts. It's where you set up all of the keys that you need. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down, go to Kwin. Almost everything's in Kwin. Um, unless you're adding like if you want to launch console or launch Thunar or whatever you want so I go ahead and set this to uh, Windows shift Q just because I use that a lot and you'll need um, float all and like float options and stuff like that to be able to you know grab this float unfloat um, you're gonna be using that a hell of a lot a heck of a lot uh, so um, anyway, let's see, so what was I in here for? Oh yeah, so grid, so control F8, that's a good stock hotkey, um, KDE, I really think that's, uh, that's brilliant. Okay, so what desktop grid allows us to do is go in between this. I'm in a VM right now, so it's a little bit laggier than it should be, but I can add desktops and move windows around them and it's super nice. Also if you right click you can stick a window to all desktops. So that's very very handy. Um, you know if you have uh, video playing or something and are working in multiple desktops. So let's see what else we got. So that's about it. Um, this font right here is what I use for my whole system. I even set up my browser to use it. It's um, Fira Sans Book. Um, it's gorgeous, and I don't think this output correctly, but anyway, it's a gorgeous font. I recommend it. Um, I also recommend using the K-Runner to do everything. I don't really use this whole bottom panel very much. Um, once again, forgot to lock the widgets, but uh, yeah, I don't use this bottom panel very much. It's just a lot slower in general, so I recommend trying out the runner. And um, let's see, so... You can use Rofi instead, it's popular, um, and these are just my recommended hotkeys. These will be in the, um, in the, the video description. So I was going to say, um, if you like Vi, uh, VI bindings, then I recommend getting Vimium for Chrome and Firefox, or Qt Browser, which I use all the time. It's a great browser, and it's you can only use it with Vim bindings. It's, quite frustrating for a newbie, but um, for file managers, Ranger is fantastic. Um, it supports all of the like re live recolor recolorization and stuff um, that I do typically, and Vi File ma Manager is super good. So um, one, one more thing, um, so that's basically it. You can also configure your terminal to have transparency and stuff. Um, so what I do um, to 
in particular to just kind of make things faster because I don't like the bloated effects and stuff, I crank the compositor speed in between these two. Um, and what that does is that allows you to have basically uh, instant uh, compositing. So when I'm going between desktops and stuff, it's instantaneous, there's no effects. So yeah, I really, really like that. Um, let's see, what, what was I in? Oh yeah, so let's go to desktop effects. And they have wobbly windows, which I use most of the time when I'm in KDE. Um, I like it. You know, comp is forever. Okay, so I kill zoom, background contrast, blur, screen edge. Like I said, you'll want to leave some of these on. Um, I leave desktop grid on. I don't use present windows, although it is quite quite nice actually. But um, yeah, I have to apt update to get the rest of these. But yeah, that's that's about it. And so um, special thanks to MX and Anti and Antix team. Um, and I wanted to say um, that dev that banned me from the Facebook group. Um, I hate you. And um, you were wrong. So if you somehow see this, you know, um, die in a fire. And uh, especially like uh, Cronkite, they do fantastic work, and I think they're just great. Um, so I think it's just, I don't know if it's just S.J. Allen who does all of the work for it, but yeah, good job. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, hopefully this wasn't too long. Anyway, bye-bye.